Monday, 11 May, week of Easter 5. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. George Carlin's wife died early in 2008 and George followed her dying in July 2008. It's ironic that George Carlin, comedian of the 70s and 80s, could write something so very eloquent and so very appropriate. So, an observation by George Carlin. The paradox of our time in history is that we have taller buildings, but shorter tempers, wider freeways, but narrower viewpoints. We spend more, but have less. We buy more, but enjoy less. We have bigger houses and smaller families, more conveniences, but less time. We have more degrees, but less sense, more knowledge, but less judgment, more experts, yet more problems, more medicine, but less wellness. We drink too much, smoke too much, spend too recklessly, laugh too little, drive too fast, get too angry, stay up too late, get up too tired, read too little, watch TV too much, and pray too seldom. We have multiplied our possessions, but reduced our values. We talk too much, love too seldom, and hate too often. We've learned how to make a living, but not a life. We've added years to life, but not life to years. We've been all the way to the moon and back, but have trouble crossing the street to meet a new neighbor. We conquered outer space, but not inner space. We've done larger things, but not better things. We've cleaned up the air, but polluted the soul. We've conquered the atom, but not our prejudice. We write more, but learn less. We plan more, but accomplish less. We've learned to push, but not to wait. We build more computers to hold more information and produce more copies than ever, but we communicate less and less. These are the times of fast foods and slow digestion, big men and small character, steep profits and shallow relationships. These are the days of two incomes, but more divorce, fancier houses, but broken homes. These are days of quick trips, disposable diapers, throwaway morality, one night stands, overweight bodies, and pills that do everything from cheer to quiet to kill. It is a time when there is much in the showroom window and nothing in the stockroom. A time when technology can bring this letter to you, a time when you can choose either to share this insight or just hit delete. Remember to spend some time with your loved ones because they're not going to be around forever. Remember, say a kind word to someone who looks up to you in awe because that little person will soon grow up and leave your side. Remember to give a warm hug to the one next to you because that's the only treasure you can give with your heart and it doesn't cost a cent. Remember to say I love you to your partner and your loved ones, but most of all, mean it. A kiss and an embrace will mend hurt when it comes from deep inside of you. Remember to hold hands and cherish the moment for someday that person will not be there again. Give time to love, give time to speak, and give time to share the precious thoughts of your mind. And always remember, life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by those moments that take our breath away. And this prayer. Father, help us to seek the values that will bring us eternal joy in this changing world. In our desire for what you promise, make us one in mind and heart. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.